SPIP offers various automation tools which will help you be more productive. This tutorial will introduce you to batch processing and show you how to automate sequences and generate reports for several images. In this image, we may want to calculate the roughness. If you have seen the tutorial on roughness analysis, you already know that we should always remove plane distortions and apply L filter before we calculate the parameters. With the batch processing module, you can easily automate this processing sequence. Let's go to the Automate tab where you'll find the automation tools. Now, open the Batch Process Setup dialog. We can define the processing sequence simply by adding the relevant operations from the list of available functions. First, we want to add a plane correction in the form of a line-wise leveling. Next, we want to add a specific filter, that is, the 2 micrometer L filter. Finally, we want to add the roughness analysis. Now we can of course run the sequence, or we can save it so we can apply it to other images as well. Let's call it My Roughness. Once we save the sequence, it will automatically become available as a quick launch item. Therefore, we now have one-click access to the sequence. If you want to apply this script to all files automatically when they are opened, you can add the script to your open options, which you will find on the File tab. If you want to generate a report, you simply have to add a reporting step as the last item in your batch sequence. Let's open the setup dialog again and add a report. Here, you can set up where you want the report to be saved. You can also choose whether you want the report to be displayed automatically. Now let's open some files to generate the report. We'll enable this option so that the report is generated when we load the files. You can load files for batch processing by use of either File Open or the ImageMed Explorer. We'll use the ImageMed Explorer as it will allow us to see thumbnails of all the supported file types in SPIP. Simply select the files you wish to add to the report and open them. Now SPIP has generated a roughness report for the selected images. Thank you for your attention.